Hello, Alex. Alex from Scale Swimming. Today again with Let's Talk Swimming. So how are you for today? I'm good, Marcus. I'm ready and primed to talk about whatever we're going to talk about. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, listen, Let's Talk Swimming. I had this conversation already once before with Jan Wolfgott in a different video. If you haven't seen this for all the people you're listening, uh, um, tune in on, on the other video, which is already posted on my uh, um, uh, channel. It's about um, the topic will be more about myths in swimming, freestyle swimming. And again, here I want to pick it up again because I think it's a bigger problem than than um, than I actually thought. I thought one video would be enough, but uh, let get, let me get another view on another person uh, 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 about it. Um, the topic is fingers open and cl or closed while swimming, open or closed. Um, and the second one, which goes hand in hand with it a bit, a bit, not not entirely, a bit is. Um, uh, splashing when entering the water. Uh, as I said, I had it in another video already with Jan Wolfgarten. I want to pick it up again because my DMs uh, or my, my comments on my Instagram account, YouTube or TikTok, they seem to not um, have seen it or not have, um, how can I say it, uh, understood it. Or maybe, I I, maybe let's empathize a bit more. Again, fingers open or closed, what is your take on it and splashing when entering the water? Okay, yeah, good one. Right, I'll take the first one about open or closed. When we get taught to swim, it's always, you must keep your fingers really tight together. You've got to use this paddle and you've got to have it so tight together. And then everyone just focuses on keeping them really tight and then forget the actual important um, part of the catch and the pull. It doesn't matter. Like you and I, I think slightly apart, um, it, you know, like the more natural your hand feels, the more you can then focus on the feel of the water, your catch, your pull, and the rest of it. So uh, I, I'd even probably say, um, let's see whether there's any um, scientists out there, but I'd say there's more surface area if their fingers are slightly further apart, slightly open, um, for you to then pull uh, and propel yourself faster through the water. Are you going to agree or disagree with me, Marcus? So. Yes, as you picked up on the first one, fingers open and closed. So yes, for sure, it's not good to have it like this. I agree because that is really not natural and, and anything. So the fingers thingy for me has something to do with being natural or not. Is it, is it a natural thing? As swimming is in general, it's a natural... It needs to be, swimming as such, or freestyle swimming, or or others like fly or back. It needs to be a natural movement, and the more natural you can have, the best technique, the better. Mm. And here again, um, it is. Yes, I agree with you. The surface area. I think there was even a a, 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 a scientific piece on it uh, somewhere in the internet. It floats around where they actually said or found out that fingers closed has less. Uh, uh, a move or le 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 you, you create less push or power with fingers closed like this um, than having it slightly apart. Um, you can Google it, uh, it's out there. And yes, I would agree as well. But also bear in mind if you enter the water like this and you have fingers closed like this, it's not natural mm -hmm. and it's too much, it's th there's too much tense, like you're too tense uh, for the rest of it. If you can go in and just push the hand easy and f loose as much to the front. And I, when I, when you see my videos, I have it very open when I go to the front and then slightly close it when you want to pull that water and then push that water backwards. Um, that certainly makes sense. And I would agree with you. So, um, we agree both, I guess, with you saying it and keep it not, make it not too big. Keep your fingers as natural as you can. Don't keep it like that. Yeah. Don't make like a flappy hand. You would never slap someone in the face with that hand because it would not hurt. Don't try to make things like this here. It doesn't really like the queen thingy. Keep it natural. Keep it steady. Keep it a bit closed. So it's more like that. And then push through because we need to have a proper push. And that is more important than anything as close as well what does it help you if you don't have a proper high elbow catch or a proper catch at the front and push back if you have it like this or like this what does it help i guess yeah. i guess we can we can 
I don't I don't think we need to go too much in it. The thing is, there is no drill. I mean, um, what you can do is like do your uh, hand uh, uh, drills, like uh, wait or open and close or grab something and, and keep it close and do things like that. It has more to do with the grip. These kind of drills, which you can do at the gym. I don't know if you have another one. Yeah, uh, no, I, I can give you some ideas. Um, so just to get the right kind of feeling of, like, so with, with the grip, right? So you don't have them fully splayed open and you're not going to really squeeze them tight. So just to get the feeling of how uh, your, 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 your hands would feel natural is you can do a fist drill, okay? So if you have a fist drill and you swim with fists, you're not going to feel hardly any power and you're going to really quite struggle to get through the water. So you can do a fist drill and you can actually swim with a splayed hand as well. Just try that and then do a couple of lengths with slightly, slightly apart and you will feel the difference. So I think that's a, a good one to swim with uh, fists, that fist drill, just to feel that you're lacking propulsion. You're not going to get the, the catch that you want. You're not going to get much pull and you can really feel that. And also your times will be much slower uh, and then just swim normally and you will feel a big difference. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good fist drill, a fist drill. I would even put in a, another one as every every triathlete which is listening to it uh, knows we love paddles even swimmers they love paddles i love it as well um love paddles how oh, you doing oh, that's a good one that's good that's good Conversely, how do you hold your paddles how is your paddles oh, first of all uh, don't get the don't get this rubber band on the back side just have it here in between your fingers uh, just here is the rubber band which holds your paddle to, onto your hand how do you push on your paddles? And this is exactly how you would need to have your fingers. You will never grab the paddle. You will never have it closed. You have it naturally and push. So just from the feeling, how it needs to feel in the water, have a paddle around and swim with it. And after you finish swimming with the paddle, you look at it. And this is how the, the how much the finger should be or how the, the hand should be when you have it without the paddles. So this is one thing. I guess to summarize, um, as we don't want to go too much in detail, and the fingers open closed can be put at, uh, at to rest for a moment until the next DM or message. Um, fingers open or closed, we say don't have it this way, don't have it tense like this or this way, keep it natural, slightly apart. Um, how to train it, get a feel on the fist drill, swim with a fist on both sides. You can also do one side with hand, the other side with it. There is, again, drills, there is no limitation to it. Uh, the other thing is you have a pedal, swim with the pedal, and after you've finished your, your length, look at how your hand is. This should be how the fingers are in the water. Um, yeah, that, 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 that should be it. That should be set to the topic, and I think... I don't know. Do you have anything else, or you you agree with it? Um, yeah, so I totally agree with everything you just said there. So we're not fully splayed open. We're not really tightly closed. Uh, we are feeling just nice and natural. And there's lots of different ways that you can practice that. So we're totally uh, agreeing and aligning with our thoughts there, as as usual, obviously. A as usual, as usual, we need swimmers. So again, so this will be wrapping up the next call of, of Let's Talk Swimming. Um, it was about fingers open and closed. Um for everyone who is tuning in, please like, share, follow, follow us on Instagram, Scale Swimming, uh, and Marcus Martalas, follow us on YouTube. They have also a nice YouTube account, uh, Scale Swimming, and um yeah, share the video, like it and comment if you have questions or anything, and uh see you next time. <laughs>